The DHC4 Caribou has been finally added to the sim. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really even know anything about this plane before I bought it. It was only $15, so I figured why not. And if you want a very condensed review of this plane, buy it. But uh, before we do anything else, as always, let's look in the cockpit. Let's look back in the cargo area. Let's look at everything. See what buttons work, what don't, the textures, and all that stuff. So here we go. Similar to the Twin Otter, the throttle is on the roof right here, which is pretty interesting, pretty unique. Obviously, it's made by the same company, but this plane is actually better than the Twin Otter, and I'll do a direct comparison in a little bit, so stick around for that. Textures aren't bad. Not the best, not the worst. It does look kind of cool, very retro-looking uh, cockpit, very interesting yoke there. Most switches work, as you can see. A lot of this is just gauges. Everything pretty much works in here. It's, of course, not study level. It is $15, and before we go any further, I'm going to show you guys how to open the cargo bay, but if you want to open the cargo but you're gonna go right here to this panel behind uh, the pilot seat. You're gonna undo this switch, undo that, or flip the cover. It'll say cargo doors right here. This is cargo door master. You're gonna turn that on. Then you're gonna open the ramp and you're gonna open the cargo door. And that is it. Let's go outside and look at this thing. And there's the cargo door action. Pretty neat little animation. And that's it. Now back here, there's not too much stuff. Just uh, some seats, some bunks, stuff like that. But it is pretty cool. And the textures aren't the greatest, but overall for $15, I'd say it's pretty good. Good. Now, what most of you guys are here for, how it flies. First, let's check the stall speed. Let's see how slow this thing can actually go without falling out of the sky. And this plane is not small for reference. This is much bigger than the Twin Otter. There's 70 knots. There's 60 knots without losing altitude and without stalling. That is insane. Now, to start this comparison with the Twin Otter, we're going to take off here at Saba. We're going to have 50% fuel, 50% payload on both planes. And this is live weather, so all the conditions will be exactly the same. And I'll put these clips side by side. Let's see which one's better. And now landing. And there's the comparison. Just for reference, the Twin Otter took off at 10,082 pounds and the Caribou took off at 24,900 pounds. More than two times the weight and it stopped as fast, if not faster, and took off faster than the Twin Otter. That's insane. Now it gets even crazier than that. Are we gonna take this thing off an aircraft carrier? Of course we are. We're lined up where the catapults are, but we're not using the catapults. Let's see if in this little tiny stretch, we can take off of an aircraft carrier. And I don't even think we're gonna need the height above water. Oh my gosh, it's insane. And of course we have to land it. Look at that float. Oh my gosh, and touchdown. And to stop. Didn't even get past the arresting cables. But I think we can do even more. So here we are in beautiful New York City. And there's a little heliport right here on the water. It's basically just a dock. But we're gonna land on it. Here we go. There we go. Kind of rough. But of course we stopped. Of course. And to make the takeoff a little more challenging, we're going to do the short direction this time. But I can't imagine this thing is going to have any trouble. And with the beautiful New York skyline in the background, let's see if we can do our final takeoff here. There's 40 knots. And we're up. Of course we're up. This thing is crazy. And in case you couldn't already tell from my enthusiasm, do I think this thing's worth it? A hundred million percent. This is one of the most fun planes in the entire sim. You can land anywhere. You can do anything. It feels great to fly. It feels great to land. And I think it kind of looks good in its own unique way. And if this review helped influence your decision to buy this plane at all, please let me know in the comments. I want to hear y'all's opinion as well. And I'll see you guys next time.